yo, yo, what's up, Banter fam? Welcome to yet another masterclass session where I, the sniper, teach you the basics and the tools and the strategies I've used in my career, keeping it simple, keeping it easy, and keeping it accurate for you. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys the indicators, how to load them, and what were the ones I started with, which are the correct ones to use, and how to use them easily. Remember, if you are new to this channel, um, or you do have a free trading view account, look to sign up a new account with the link in the description below. Look to make a new email as well, as you do not want to confuse your trading world with your personal world and trading views gonna keep your emails quite busy remember by using this link it qualifies you for any trading view giveaways we give on the show as well as they are our partners and we're going to look at running massive specials for the banter community and thirdly obviously showing the love and the support for the actual channel now we're going to be dropping these educational videos every day as well as the shows to make sure that you hit the like you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell joining the best and baddest community on the planet. And thirdly, let's obviously blow up Twitter. Let's show them how excited we actually are for this new journey. Look to create or to change your name from your name and add this sniper to the end. Let's show Twitter how excited we are and show how many snipers are actually out there. No more wasting time, let's get into it. Right, so what are trading indicators? These are tools added to our charts to help us simplify it and make it easy for us to understand. They give us the stats and the mathematical calculations using data about price and volume represented graphically. Now, why do we need them? Because these help us understand, understand trends. They give us information about whether a coin is overbought or oversold, which is one of the most important things you can learn. With charting, you need to understand where are you buying the coin in the emotion cycle. They also help us indicate the possibility of price reversal to the up or the downward side. Now let's have a look at the positive and negatives. Positives, they simplify the reading of charts and trends. They help us predict the tops and the bottoms when the trend is changing either to the upside or the downside. Should I be buying? Is it starting to weaken? Should I start laddering out and start reducing my, my position? and they help us detect subtle changes in the market. Now, what are the negatives? Majority of the indicators are lagging indicators. So these give you information and data on things that have already happened. So if you don't know how to use them correctly, you're actually working very far behind and you're not using them in the most accurate way. Now, sometimes our charts can become very cluttered and we think the more indicators we need, we need the better traders we're gonna be. That's the complete wrong uh, decision to actually, you know, we need to keep it as simple as possible. Using less and more ac accurate is way better. And as you progress as a trader, you'll see your indicators will reduce one by one. All these indicators do have positives and negatives, and they can give conflicting signals to other indicators. So if you don't understand that some of them are the same, some of them show more or less the same thing, you know, you can end up having one indicator telling you to buy one telling you to sell and it just creates a big confusion in your head and remember these cannot be used to predict the exact next movement in the actual market they're just little tools you have to use this with all your strategies and your normal knowledge to make an actual decision they're never going to give you everything perfectly and set up simple right let's get in how we actually use these indicators <laughs> Right, so let's jump on the chart and let's see how to add these indicators. So remember, I have shown you guys the normal platform and how it works. Now, what you want to be getting to is you want to be coming to this little FX section over here and you can see it says indicators and strategies. And if you click on it over here, you will see you have your my favorites column. And this is where we're going to use where you can add all the favorite indicators that you want. So it's easy to add and get them on and off of your actual charts. What we want to do first is we want to be adding these four. The first one is moving average. And if we push MA, you will see you'll have moving average. You want to click the little star. You want to add that to your favorites list. The second one that we want is RSI and it's relative strength index. You want to be adding your star over there. And then we have the stochastic RSI as well. I'm going to show you the difference between the two and how to be using them. Click the star there as well. 
And the third one, this one does usually come on the standard, it come as the standard on charts is volume, just make sure you do have it selected, click the star over there as well. And as you can see, we then have the four all set up here. Now to add them to your actual chart, because this is just a favorite list, is you will click on, let's say the moving average, and you'll see how the moving average will pop up over here. We then want to be going into the settings because we get different moving averages out there. We will be having a more strategized video on using a strategy of moving averages to make it a lot more understanding. I'm just gonna show you how to set it up for now. Now, if you go to inputs, you get this length. Now, this is where you select the different moving average that you actually want. Now, we use the four standard ones. We use the 20, the 50, the 100, and the 200. Now, if you're wanting to add the 20, by length, you'll be saying 20. You then have the style, and we usually always make the 20 green. And as you can see, that's our selected color. And when I come in here, I can choose the visibility of the line, and I can choose the thickness of the line. I usually like using the second one, so it's not too much in your face, but at least you can see it. And there we go. You can see how the 20 is added. Now, if you want the 50, you can then see over here as well, if I change this to 50, 50 we standardize, we usually use as red, same thing, second line over there, and I can add it. And remember, if I go back here and I want to add multiple ones, you can see how now, how I have two. And if I want the 20 and the actual 50, I can add the 20 in here, change the style, get it to the green, put it up over there, and there we go. We can see how we have the actual two. Now, I like to standardize 20, green, 50, red, uh, 100, blue, and the 200, purple. You can sort of change it up, but that's usually the standards that I used, like to use, keeping it simple. Now, that's how you add moving averages. The second one that we want to be looking at is our relative strength index. If you click on that, it's quite simple. Let's get rid of these over here. You can see how it adds up, and it's this little funny thing with the line sitting at the bottom. I will be explaining on a lot more depth in next videos, but that's how you add uh, the RSI. If you then have a look at the stochastic, you click on the stochastic, that will be adding the stochastic in over there. So it's quite simple. And as you can see, you've got a little X tool here if you do want to delete them at any point. And instead of me going back and having to search for it again, I can just pop into my favorites and it's very easy for me to load. And then the last one is the volume. A lot of them do come standard, but there we go, you can see, and now you add in the actual volume. So these are the ones I'm gonna be going into fantastic strategies one by one and it's the starter kit for you to understand indicators and we will diversify and move on a lot more as we go. That's it, that's simple. Add your indicators and customize those charts. So that's it for this video. Remember to hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you are new, to use the link below in the description. And remember to blow up Twitter. I will see you all on the next video, ready to blow your mind. I will see you all shortly.